All right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and this small producer from California, Haran, is, uh, well, um, the young lady that was originally raised all over the place and um, she made wine in the south of France. I remember the Vindipay stuff she's had and most of her stuff today is coming from California, but uh, all made from sustainably grown grapes from Hopland, this first one, a Sauvignon Blanc and a uh, nice zesty nose, kind of grapefruit, green melon, a hint of that briny, minerally note. Everything is 100% varietal. Not over oaked and under 13% alcohol. Hey, don't hate me because I'm alcoholic. These wines nice and balanced. Light and refreshing style. That green melon and fig fruit. A nice zesty mineral note on the finish. Leaves the tongue salivating for food. For 17 bucks, a very good little example of Sauvignon Blanc. And in a screw cap, something we like. The, uh, the Chardonnay has got 50% uh, French oak, non-mallow, from three different appellations, Russian River Carneros and Santa Maria fruit. Good amount of tropical fruit here, just a whiff of oak spice. Nice amount of that juicy fruit coming through on the tongue. Nice freshness, lemon and peach-like fruit. Short but pleasant finish. Very good little Chardonnay at 16 and a quarter. All these wines pose excellent value. The Pinot Noir from California, from Vineyards in Monterey, Russian River in the west side of Paso Robles. Bit of a smoky night uh, note to the red berry fruit. And a light, nice green, a little green character to this wine, which kind of is a little more pronounced on the second day. Very hard to make inexpensive Pinot. This wine falling short on the second day. Very fine at $17. The Monterey Pinot, however, excellent juice. Good amount of dark cherry fruit. Nice smoky meaty notes to the bouquet. A uh, touch of exotic spices, flowers. Silky smooth on the tongue. That bright red cherry fruit and a nice hand of acidity on the finish. Excellent juice. The Cabernet Sauvignon 2012. A blend of fruit from Pope Valley, Mendocino, and Clarksburg. This wine's got 13% alcohol. A nice uh, nose of sweet uh, cassis, dark cherry, and mocha, some cigar bottles. Box. Really nice balance in these wines, nice freshness, although there's a lot of fruit in this wine, some tannins, but uh, fairly ripe and balanced, very good stuff. The Merlot after the Cabernet, we don't see that very often, but this one is a little bigger, and uh, single vineyard from Mendocino, a good amount of dark plum and cherry fruit, fine herbs, a touch of tobacco spice, plump and uh, velvety on the on the tongue there. It's one of the things we love about Merlot, this plush texture it has, and uh, bigger tannins, but still ripe and round. This wine has nice freshness, that ripe plum and cherry fruit, some sweet herbs and tobacco of spice showing on the finish. Very good juice. All of these wines, very well made and nice little values from Haran Winery. That's what we had to drink with Haran. I'm, I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.